What do you do when your pain identifies you? What do you do when your pain identifies you? Who do you turn to when your pain has identified you? What do you say? Who do you turn to? Who do you run to? What do you do when your pain has identified you? When you keep looking forward and somebody, something keeps grabbing a hold of you and keeps pulling you back 10 feet. As you pressing forward through the pain and through it all, what do you do when your pain identifies you? First of all, you find out where that pain is coming from. You find out who is initiating the pain. Because if you find out who, who and what is initiating the pain towards you. I know it's hard to do. And I know everyone said, well, life's too short. But yes, I agree with you. Life is too short. Short. So therefore, whoever is initiating the pain on you has to exit. You said, I've been trying to get them to exit. That means you have to get off the next exit. You keep missing your exit. When it's time for you to exit out of someone's life because they are initiating pain to you, and you and your pain has identified you, and they keep and you find out who that person is or what that thing is. You decide not to exit. You have to learn when and where to exit when your pain identifies you and comes toward you to try to take you out. It's simple. You have to do just that. We don't give up over here. Over here on this side, because we have too much faith and trust. We can't give up over here. When pain has decided to wreak havoc in your lives, that's right. When you look to your left, to your right, Pain on each side, you still don't give up. You will get that promotion. You will graduate from college, graduate from high school. You will get through that pain. Trust and believe. Believe and trust. Because you will not. Say it with me. Down in the comments. Take a moment right now and say, I will not give up. I have decided in my life right here, right now, that I will not give up. Because I'm going to press forward no matter the how much the pain is, how much is hurting me so bad. And just because it has identified me, I'm going to press through it all because I have the power to. Because when I was going through that pain last time, I kept pressing through and I got through it. When I went through that pain 10 years ago, 10 years ago, I, I saw that pain, but I kept pressing through because I decided I wasn't going to give up. No. Why? I'm not going to give up. You and I, we're not giving up. You're not going to.
going to give up on your kids. You're not going to give up on your husband and your wife. You're not going to give up on them. You're not going to give up on yourself because you love yourself more than anything. If you don't love yourself, find that in you that you love because you're not going to give up. You and I, we're not giving up. And you just say, hey, I'll make it. Write down in the comments right now. I'm going to make it through this. I have decided I'm not going to be this way always. Right now, I'm going through a storm and it's stormy and cloudy right now in my, cloudy in my life right now. But I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to turn around. I'm going to go press forward with everything I got because I have the one and only, you know who it is, the man upstairs, God above, whoever you believe in, to help me get through this. And I'm coming right now. Don't you dare give up to tell you. Don't you dare throw it all away. Don't give up. Turn it all around. <laughs> Turn it around in your life because you're able to get through this with everything you got. Even though the enemy keeps throwing arrows at you, throwing everything at your way. I mean, doing all kinds of stuff. Taking your car, taking your house, taking your kids, taking everything from you. You will get through this too. This shall pass. This shall too pass. Because what? Trust and faith working hand in hand in your life. Write it down in the comments right now. Stop. Hit that like button. Go down in the comments and say, trust and faith. I will make it through this. Trust and faith. What I believe in, I will get through this. It's simple. That's what happens when what when you try to figure out what to do when your pain identifies you. Don't dare let the pain overtake you. Don't dare let the pain. I want you to get this because I'm getting it. As you're getting it, I'm getting it. We're getting it together. As the pain identifies us, you and I, we are going to make it through this because we've been here before. We've been in a storm. We've been in a sad place. We've been in a defeated place. We've been in despair. But no matter what, we didn't give up. And just in case you did give up yesterday, get up and shake it off of you. Wipe your eyes. Get you some Kleenex and say, I'm not giving up today. Today is my day to make it through this storm. Why? Because you have trust <laughs> and faith to make it through it. Through it all. Through it all. If this resonates with you and you're feeling this the way I'm feeling it, hit that like button. Comment down in the comments. A blue heart just so you, so I know, hey, you watched this whole video. And I appreciate you for it. This is for my TV signing off. And I'm so happy that you're here. Make sure you... Hey, I'm going to be going live, y'all. Make sure you, you, you rewind this back and watch it again. Watch it over and over again. But I'm going to be going live. I want you to make sure you turn on those post notifications. This is, I already said it, <laughs> for Maka TV, signing off. Peace. And I'm out.